My usual aeroplane, Golf Oscar Romeo, has been out of action for a bit because of a prang at Sandown. So today I'm using the opportunity to get current again in the Arrow with its retractable gear and variable pitch propeller. I'm flying today with instructor Chris Wilkinson from Pilot World Shop, who has quite a following on Instagram. And being popular on Instagram means you can sometimes receive some indecent proposals. Uh. Well, you know, um, you know, we were talking, yeah, when we first started talking, you're saying what weird people contacts we get. Yeah, yeah. I've got one guy at the moment who says he wants to have a bath with me. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to go flying with his instructor, they go back to his for a bath and then we go out for dinner. <laughs> well, that's a new one. At least, whoever it was, they like it clean. Anyhow, we did eventually stop laughing and got the aeroplane started for our flight up to Leicester. Blackbush information. Good morning, Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo uniform. Request aerodrome information and taxi VFR flight to Leicester. Oscar Alpha Romeo, Black Information, Ray 35, Taxi Alpha 1 for 25 left hand circuit, QNH 1021. Alpha 1, runway 25 left hand circuit, QNH 1021, Golf Romeo Uniform. Well, here we are, guys. Introduce yourself, Chris. Okay, good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Wilkinson, and I'm the flight instructor oh, with John today. Uh, you'll probably recognise me as I own Pilot Workshop. We're Blackbus to Leicester. First time in the Arrow for me for about a year. I mean, there isn't much to it, but uh, it, it, we need to be checked out and hope for, it all feels a bit alien because everything's in a different place. When you fly the same plane over and over and over again, you know where everything is. You, you don't have to think about it. Jump in something new where instruments are in different places and you've got flashy autopilots and things. Yeah, and different checklists as well. Different checklists, yeah. And uh, okay. we're picking up Rory on air today. I've never flown with Rory on air. Have you ever met Rory on air? No, not at all. It's a brand new day for me. You're so going to tell me he's your he, he's your favourite YouTuber, and I'm your <laughs> second. <laughs> I'm your second favourite. And he's a helicopter pilot, isn't he? He is now. Yeah. Uh, yes, and we're going to go to Leicester, pick up Rory, and then go to Wolverhampton. That's the plan. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Go for Romeo uniform. Alpha one, ready for departure. Romeo two five, take off your discretion. Surface wind. 270 knots. Taking off runway 25, Golf Romeo uniform. Runway's clear. Squawking yep, altitude, landing anything. lights on. And we don't need flaps for this. Yep. 25, 25. Temperatures and pressures in the green. Golf Full power then, here we go. Request radio check, taxi instructions and departure information. Charlie D, Charlie Gold, back to information, readability 5, taxi hold out from 1 to 2. Uh, Airspeed is alive, temperatures, alive. Temperatures, temperatures and pressures are still in the green. Readability 5 also, hold out for 1. 60 knots. QNH 1021, Gold, Charlie Gold. S70, we'll ease her off. I'm at 80. Charlie, go. Why are you requesting a VFR transit at Farnbrook? Okay, so that's the runway. Go on, tap the brakes. Are you requesting a VFR transit at Farnbrook? Negative. Golf, Charlie, golf. Golf, Charlie, golf. You're in transit lights. Gone. Now we're climbing at 90. We're already at 500 feet, so we'll go around. Temperatures and pressures are still in the green. Flaps are up. Good. So far, so good. And the chief golf checks, I think, are complete. Brilliant. Let me just trim. How do we do that? Trim down. And don't forget to pull your... Uh, 25, thank you. 25. Just that one first, that's it, and then that one. one. Yep, forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> golf Romeo uniforms left the ATZ to the northwest. Request frequency change, Harbour Radar 125, decimal 250. Golf Romeo Roger. Harbour Radar, good morning, Golf Oscar, Alpha Romeo Uniform, request basic service. Golf Oscar, Alpha Romeo Uniform, Harbour Radar, pass message. Golf Romeo Uniform, Harbour Radar, pass message. 
Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo Uniform, PA28, Blackbush to Leicester, VFR, uh, one mile east of uh, Reading, altitude 2,200 feet, 1021. Request basic service. Golf Romeo Uniform, QNH, 1021, basic service, squawk 0430. 1021, basic service, squawk 0430, Golf Romeo Uniform. How's it feel? You feel okay? Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's uneasy because I've just not flown it for a long time and uh, it just feels different. Yeah, everything's it's fine. It's fine. It's, uh, you know what I mean? It's just different, isn't it? Everything just takes you have to think about it again. Exactly. Okay, so we're at Bensu, so it was just a slight uh, change of track. Uh, three. Oh, I've done the right one. How do I know where? Oh, it's up there. Three, four, four. Okay. Yep, that's it. <laughs> he got it there as well. Yeah. A quick thank you to Dan at UK Flying Clubs at Blackbush. They've been good enough to let me use their very tidy and well-equipped fleet of aeroplanes while I'm without my own wings. Check out their website. It's a very popular flying group. Each aeroplane you fly will have different speeds. The speed that you can put the gear down, the flap limiting speed, the approach speed and so on. Obviously with the Warrior that I normally fly, these numbers are embedded in my memory. So as we plough on towards Leicester, I check with Chris that I have the right numbers for the arrow that I'm flying today. So just thinking about the uh, approach, just talking about speeds, just checking I've got my memories correct on this. Final approach with two stages, full flat, with full flap is 75. Correct. Uh, 80 is flapless. Yep. Um, and we want to cross the threshold at 75, do we? Or we yeah. want to be a bit less than that? Um, yeah, cross the threshold about sort of 70, 75. Okay, okay. Just tell. Romeo uniform, they have left my area to the north, nice there. Score comes for QT and free call en route, possibly London information 124.6. Bye bye. Scork, conspicuity, goodbye, Golf Romeo Uniform. London information, good morning, Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo Uniform, request basic service. Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo Uniform, London information, good morning, pass your message. Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo Uniform, PA28, Blackbush to Leicester, VFR, just to be in Westcott, uh, altitude 2800 feet, 1020, and uh, routing more or less direct to request basic service. Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo Uniform Roger, Squawk 1177 with mode Charlie. Basic service, remain outside controlled airspace. 1177 Charlie, basic service will go Golf Romeo Uniform. Very quiet up here, isn't it? That's how I like it. <laughs> Don't you? I like it quiet. You like the skies to yourself, do you? I do, definitely. Yeah. I should put out a no-tam saying I'm up and everyone, <laughs> everyone to avoid this corridor, I do, like the Red Arrows do. Yeah. Even though we only have an extra 20 knots from the 200 horsepower engine, everything feels like it's happening quickly and before long we're closing in on Leicester. Leicester Radio, good morning. Golf, Oscar, Alpha, Romeo, Uniform. Uh, one six miles to the south, request aerodrome information. Golf Romeo Uniform, that's ready, Romeo, you said 28 right hand to keep the fixed wing, QFE 1003. 28 uh, right hand for the fixed wing and it's QFE 1003, Golf Romeo Uniform. Okay. Uh, bring your power back a little bit now, slow yourself out, that's it. Okay, so we're 1 on 20, we can get the gear down. Golf yeah. Romeo Uniform, uh, right downwind, uh, 28 right hand. Brakes, undercarriage is down, fix, mixture's rich, fuel pump is on. That's right, that's looking okay. Okay, reduce your power now. And flaps, and then we go full good. RPM. That's it. So we've got reds, blues, blues, and greens. I think the trend is good. Looking good. Just small amount of power, small amount of power, that's it. Good. Turning right base, what I noticed from this leg was that having to concentrate more on a slightly different aircraft that I'm used to, having the constant speed propeller and landing gear to think about meant that my lookout suffered and I wasn't really doing a very good job of listening out for other aircraft on the radio at Leicester. I'm glad I've got Chris here to help me ease back into it. 
Rory jumped aboard and we wasted no time getting underway again, this time to Wolverhampton. photos you've taken something, John. Well, <laughs> hang on a minute, you should be praising me for <laughs> focusing he's, on the flying. He's working his arse off. <laughs> are, they playing? are they doing power checks there, or are they, they can't be? He's a student on a solo cross country, so oh, okay. all bets are off. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Radio, good morning, Golf Oscar Alpha, Romeo Uniform, uh, request aerodrome information, VFR flight to Wolverhampton 3, POB. Golf Romeo Uniform, Mr. Radio, 3, Liberty 5, Romeo Uniform, 2, 8, right hand, take it, 4, 6, 7, QNH, 1020. 28 right hand circuit uh, QNH 1020. Golf Romeo uniform is uh, taxiing to runway 28. Okie dokie. Breaks off at 56 by a mile. Helicenter 1-3 is changing call sign to student Helicenter 1-3 for first solo. Ooh. Instructor remaining in the long grass near to the H. Ooh. Who's that going to be? Anyone? Claire, the instructor. I'm not sure who the student will uh. be. I remember the moment myself well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. More exciting than your fixed wing solo? No. Oh. A different sort of exciting because it wasn't the first time I'd been solo, so I knew I could do it. Um, but I also... You know, it was first solo in a helicopter. It was like, this is the dream. They take off from the runway, the helicopters, or do they take off from the H? No, uh, it'll go from the H. Yeah. And if they, we never use the hard runway because we uh. don't want to get in the way of the planks. Oh dear! <laughs> what have we done? I know, a I know. Pilot on board. I love planes. This is the first time I've ever been in a PA-28. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. It has that wonderful aeroplane smell, which is great. Helicopters don't smell like that. They're they not smell oil and, yeah. <laughs> and gearboxes. <laughs> <laughs> Golf Romeo Uniform, runway, uh, holding point to runway 28, ready for departure. I'm getting hot here. Sierra, joining crosswind, two eight right hand circuit. He may not come back to us because this radio. Yeah. Golf Romeo uniform lining up runway two eight. Three three zero degrees one two knots. Go as much as we as much runway as we yeah. can. My legs aren't long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Said me never. Right, yeah. Okay. Right, full power then. T's and P's are in the green. Got full power. S speed is alive now. It's going to go any minute, isn't it? Yeah, she want to go around. There he is. Cut the brakes. Gear up. God. Hello, radio. Golf Fox Bravo. Changing frequencies. Eastern Zone 134. Decimal 180. Good day. Roger. Goodbye. Up's coming up. We've got gear up. Flaps are away. And we come back to 25 25. Extra up, ready for departure. Got flaps up, we've got gear up. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Let's get a slightly better climb going. Romeo Uniform leaving the ATZ to the west-northwest and uh, changing on route. Thank you. 
And uh, we said we were safe at 3-2, didn't we, for this leg? Yeah. Mind you, it's pointless getting up that high because uh, if the cloud base is 2-5, yeah. what will that be? 2-9 at um, Wolverhampton. Might as well stay down here at 2-2 two, two, two or something. 2-2 two is good, I think. Yeah. I'm with you, Chris. 2-2 two, two is my favourite altitude because it's not the round number of two where every Tom, Dick and Harry is, but it's not too high that I get a helicopter nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> but now you've told everyone what altitude you like. Yeah. Everyone, else, everyone else will be doing it. Everyone who watches Rory on air or the flying reporter will be blatting about a 2002. <laughs> OK, temperatures and pressures still in the green. Temp all temperatures a bit high, but let's see how that settles down. So, we're going to Wolverhampton today because um, I'm kind of hijacking Chris. <laughs> this was meant to be a training flight with me and Chris. I thought, oh, Chris, would you mind if we go to Wolverhampton and I got somebody to meet there and I'll buy you lunch? <laughs> and then that turned into, hey, Chris, would you mind if, after, after taking me up to Leicester, actually, we're going to go to Leicester now, we're going to pick up Rory, then go to Wolverhampton, then back to Leicester, then back to Blackburn. I know, yeah. So, I hope you haven't got any more students for the rest of the day. I haven't, no. I might put you for your faces on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> but we need to see somebody about a stage that we might be using at Wolverhampton. We routed around the north of the Birmingham zone. Knowing we had a passenger on board and would likely be a bit distracted talking to each other, we didn't want to go through the controlled airspace. Being close to their zone though, we used Birmingham's listening squawk. Rory got his commercial helicopter pilot's licence in January and is now our building in the R44. 2021 is already a year to remember for him and it's going to get even more epic. His wife Lizzie is expecting a baby. How's Lizzie? She's doing very well, thank you very much. She's, um, she's starting to show a bump now. Oh. Oh. Um, so, uh, yeah, she's about 18 weeks, I think. Oh, that's amazing news. So... It's going to be quite, uh, going to be quite exciting trying to teach people to fly helicopters and coming home tired and then having a little baby that needs feeding and a <laughs> wife who needs some support. I think I'm going to be run ragged by the end of the year. Yeah. Right. Um, so, is it your instructor's rating you're going to do next? Is it? Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm just building up to 220 hours, uh, which I need to start the FI course at Heli Centre, which I'm hoping to do in September. So I'm hoping to be qualified by Christmas to teach on the Cabri and the 44. Um, and uh, that's that's my plan then for the next year or two years, however long it takes really to build enough hours to get to the point where I might be able to move on and start flying some turbines. Yeah. Wolverhampton information, good afternoon. Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo uniform uh, inbound. We are 11 miles to the north east request aerodrome information. Golf Oscar Alpha Romeo Uniform, Hayden Gun Information, hello, Romeo News 34, left hand circuit, QC 1011. 011. 34, left hand circuit, uh, QC 1011, Golf Romeo Uniform. Oxford 06, report lining up. Four car, Oxford 06. 34. Golf Romeo Uniform, one in the left hand circuit, uh, just climbing out, but you can join overhead or downwind left as you wish. Roger, we'll advise as we approach Golf for Romeo Uniform. Roger. I think crosswind join and then into the left-hand circuit. Yeah, okay, Debris. that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine with me. I'm just filling in a complaint form for the lack of drinks trolley. <laughs> 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 Let's get ourselves... Golf Julia, Mike, final 3, 4, 6, again. She's in the circuit. Golf Julia, Mike, runway 3, 4, surface wind 3, 4, 0 degrees, 8 knots, touch and go your discretion. So she'll be in the climb out. Okay, Golf Julia, Mike. So hopefully we'll be behind her on the circuit. If I slow down now, okay, yeah. So just pull the power back a bit. Fair mixture, Rich. And um, gear down. Get your gear down. Sit. And we've got three grains. Golf Romeo uniform is three miles to the north now, and we're planning to join uh, downwind left hand runway three four. Go for Romeo Uniform, report downwind. The circuit traffic on final for a touch and go. Romeo Uniform, we'll give way. So, uh, fuel radios, uh, engine okay, temperatures and pressures, left. direction indicator. Go to the left, taxi. I'll go a bit wide. Can't see them. Oh, I think they're on the runway. 
I might just do an orbit here then. Oh, they've gone to the end. Yeah. I think you're okay. I thought they were doing a touch and go though. Oh, it looked like they were, but it is, they are. Golf Romeo Uniform, uh, request position of the circuit traffic. Uh, Golf Romeo Uniform, he's actually landed, so no report of <laughs> circuit traffic. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw that, I just was checking, thanks. Uh, Romeo Uniform is uh, just entering the downwind uh, left hand 3 4 now. Golf Romeo Uniform, report final. Okay, Golf Romeo Uniform. Just thought I'd check. Good on you. That's what um, for. So we are brakes. Undercarriage is down and fixed. Three greens. Mixture is rich. Uh, mixture. Fuel pump is on. We've got enough to go around. Engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. Strapped in in the back there. Take off your discretion. Take off three four. Go for X ray. Got one lining up. Off to green information, Golf Echo Oscar Lima Delta on the apron, uh, request therefore information and taxi VFR to Echo Golf November Ramian. Golf Echo Oscar Lima Delta, have you got information? Hold short of taxi Alpha, the runway news 34, QNH 1022. Uh, is there any chance of uh, departing? It's rolling, yeah. 34, holding short of Alpha for the time being. He's airborne now, great. Lima Delta, QNH 1022. QNH 1022, holding short of Alpha, Golf Echo Oscar Lima Delta. Okay, clear on approach. There's a PH on your left uh, to taxi, give way and then taxi holding point Alpha 5. Give way to the PH 28, uh, Alpha 5 from Y34, Golf Echo Oscar Lima Delta. He's riddled with Brummy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Do I oh, you love it, don't you? Oh, you I come? love it. Sorry. Okay. This is great. You like it? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's so cool to see it from the aeroplane perspective again. <laughs> Uniform runway 34, surface wind 340 degrees, 10 zero knots, land your discretion. Landing 34, Golf Romeo Uniform. Runway's clear, we've got our clearance. I'm confident we've got reds, blues, and three greens. Good. And we've got 75 knots. Brilliant. Anyone would think you were an expert at this, John? Yeah. You're going to jinx it for me now. So it's constantly reducing the power all the way down. That's it. <laughs> I think that's close, yeah. Golf Romeo Uniform, continue ahead, vacate first left runway 22. Continue ahead, uh, vacate left 22, Golf Romeo Uniform. Well done, John. Thanks, mate. Lovely job. Yeah, it's brilliant. Difficult conditions, lots of airspace, it's handled well. Thank you. It's amazing how different the aeroplane responds to the thermal bumps than the helicopter, I must admit. Really? Yeah. In what way? Just considerably bumpier, to be honest. Yeah. We do get knocked about, don't get me wrong, but it has to be... I mean, I, I've only really been knocked about badly in the helicopter, and it was about 35, 40 knots of wind. Golf Romeo X-ray. This is... Compared to a standard worry, this, this fills it a bit more because it's a bit faster. Yeah. To Birmingham, good day. Golf Romeo uniform, when ready, straight ahead to the far end, and the left turn, park on the apron just after the tower, please. To the end, and then left turn to the apron uh, next to the tower, Golf Romeo uniform. Right, we're going to do this in our own time. Do, 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 do. After landing, flaps will bring up. Flaps 
Military fuel pump off. Piso heats off. Transponder to standby. Elevator trimmed. Neutral. Golf driver Charlie Juliet Mike, heading your information. Taxi holding point Alpha 5, runway 34, QFE 1011. There we go. Let's taxi off. Runway 34 via holding point Alpha 5, QFE 1011. Golf Juliet Mike. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to my sponsors and supporters club members for making this YouTube channel possible. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Fly safely my friends.